Here is a 2D projectile motion problem where we have a diver jumping out horizontally, so there's only initial speed originally, uh, oh, off a cliff. And we want to find out how far they fell, the height of the cliff, and what their horizontal range was, how far from the cliff they fell. Now the fact that the problem gives us the number of seconds it took, the time, is very useful because in these kinds of projectile motion problems, time is the only universal variable that's guaranteed to be the same in both dimensions. So we can use this to find uh, both the things that are asked of us, the distance that the diver traveled um, both vertically and horizontally. So the first thing I'm going to do is pick which of the motions of equation, uh, the equations of motion that we typically use with constant acceleration problems like this. And for, for the vertical one, to find the height of a cliff, I'm going to go with the formula for position, the one that tells us that a change in position, uh, I'm using y here since we're talking about vertical motion, is equal to the initial speed in the y direction times time plus half of the acceleration, which in this case is g, times the square of time. I'm going to use this equation because it has time, which we're given. It has the acceleration, which in the vertical axis is just going to be g, the acceleration due to gravity. And there's, there should be no uh, initial speed in the vertical direction because it, the, the runner dives the diver goes horizontally at first, so the initial speed in the vertical direction is zero, and this term cancels out. So if we want to find the, their change in vertical position as they fall, really the only term we need to worry about is one-half times g times the square of t. So if we put this into our calculator, since we know they've been falling for three seconds, we put into our calculator 1 half times g, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, times 3.0 seconds squared, then we, uh, well, then our calculator will give us a value of about 44 meters. This means that over 3 seconds, the time it took the diver to hit the ground, they, were, they fell over 44 meters which means that that is how high the cliff is. So that answers the first part of this problem. I've got a cat nearby. The second part of the problem asks about how far from the base of the cliff did the diver hit the water. Now this is talking about, and now we're looking at horizontal motion, since we're looking at horizontal range. In fact, I probably should have drawn a diagram from the beginning. Because when the problem asks us how high the cliff is, it's asking about this vertical distance. But now that it's asking about how far the diver hit the ground from the base, now it's looking for this distance, which is a horizontal range. So if the diver took a, a path that looked something like this, then we want to know how far horizontally the diver traveled in the time it took them to fall before they hit the water. Well, think about it. If we're looking at horizontal motion in this case, then there is not going to be any acceleration in that direction. Remember, the only acceleration happening here is the acceleration due to gravity, but that only acts vertically. So because that only acts vertically, that means that the diver's horizontal velocity, which in this case is 2.0 meter, or 2.5 meters per second, that can be treated as constant. So their initial speed in the x direction is the same as their final speed in the x direction. So to find out how far they traveled, we just have to use our basic equations of velocity here. The equation of velocity, or like for example, the, the velocity in the x direction, v sub x, is equal to its chain, to the diver's change in x position divided by the time. So to find the horizontal range, we solve for delta x. So delta x is equal to v sub x times t. So all that's left for us to do 
is put this into our calculator. The initial speed, the constant speed in the x direction, is given to us as 2.5 meters per second. So we multiply that by the time, 3.0 seconds, and we find, from our calculators, we find a value of 7.5 meters. So over the course of three seconds, the diver has been moving a distance of 7.5 meters in the horizontal direction. So that is our horizontal range, and that is how far from the base of the cliff that the diver lands. So that is all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. If you have a request for a future video you'd like me to make, I have a Discord server linked in the description below where uh, I could work, walk you through other things if I have the time or I'm willing to take requests for future videos to make. But that is all for this video, so I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.